Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical thing. Going to the next question, that is 111. So here it is given int a of 5. So 5 elements are given in an array and int pointer, of course, here pointer it is initialized with the address. So what is that address it is initialized? If I give ampersand a, what is the meaning? If I give ampersand a plus 1, what is the meaning? We'll see. According to that, the printf statement will be executed. So how it will be executed? We'll see now. A of five. When if I write when I write A of five, so the memory allocation will be like this. So the elements are stored like this in an array. Now in pointer, int has to ampersand A plus one. So what is the value of ampersand A plus one? When I write ampersand A, then plus one. The meaning from the compiler is the address of the pointer will be taken which is the next address after the completion of this array that anyway I'll explain with this example let us suppose this is the address 2000 anyway integer takes 4 bytes that's why this is 2004 this is 2008 this is 2012 this is 2016 the address starts from that means 2000 to 2003 2004 to 7 8 to 11 12 to 15 16 to 19 so these addresses will be occupied by this array now what is the next address so if i write ampersand a plus 1 means the next address after the completion of allocation of these addresses so here it is completed after 2019 so now the next address will be 2020 so this is the value of ampersand a plus 1 remember this point so like this it will assign if i say ampersand a where a is an array so now what is ampersand a plus 1 means which is the value after the allocation of this addresses what is the next address value will be there that will be your ampersand a plus 1 value now this is ampersand a plus 1 value so this value is to be assigned to the ptr now what is ptr value will be equals to 2020 in our example so to till 2019 it is allocated for this array that is from 2000 to 2019 it is allocated what is the next address means 2020 so so that value will be taken by ptr now here you can see print of percentile what is pointer of a plus 1 so what is a plus 1 anyway if I say it and you can find the difference here this is ampersand a plus 1 this is a plus 1 so ampersand a plus 1 means like this address will be taken anyway a plus 1 means we know that what is a when I take an array a what is if I write a means which is address of a of 0 so what is that address in our example that is 2000 so a is equals to 2000 what is a plus 1 what is a plus 1 that means 2000 plus what is the next address it's not like 2001 it is the next address what is the next address it is starting from 2004 that is 2004 anyway we have how to find that address means 2000 that is base address plus how many bytes of the data type into what is the index here if you take the next plus one means the next index is one and how many bytes four bytes for each value in integer so 2000 plus 4 into 1 2004 will be the a plus 1 if I ask you what is a plus 3 in general so what it is base address 2000 plus number of bytes for integer is 4 and the index is 3 so 2012 you can see for a of 3 the address starts from 2012 so like this you need to consider so if I ask you what is a plus 1 means the address that is 2004 you can see this is the address a plus 1 what is pointer means value inside 2004 what is the value inside 2004 3 so the pointer of a plus 1 means the value is 3 into what is pointer of ptr minus 1 what is ptr value 2020 minus 1 means previous address this is it's not 2019 it's previous address previous address means what is the previous address means that is minus 4 that is again you need to go like this process that means minus 1 that's why 2020 minus 4 2016 so now ptr minus 1 means the address is 2016 so what is the value inside of 2016 8 so 3 into 8 what is the answer 24 so like this it will allocate especially if you consider the concept of 
pointers and when you use a sign like this that is ampersand a plus one so answer is b coming to the question number one one two what will be the output of this C program of course it is uh, we feel that it's a very easy like print of percent only 5.00 anyway if there is no problem like if i print only 5 simply print of percent ld5 if i write it will print 5 but what happens if i write 5.00 5 which is a floating value of course we may think like okay 5.00 we are taking only integer that's why it will take only integer part and it will print integer is it correct definitely no so it's not like that so it won't print here like this when you make type conversion with integer then it will consider integer so here you have taken only the format specifier so that's what here the difference we need to consider we need to observe like here it is a value which is a float of course float is a different uh, memory allocation and for integer it is a different memory allocation so for float it takes a memory allocation for each values like if i take 5 means 5 point it takes 5 6 precisions 5.0000001 memory location if i give 5.0000001 like this it has to allocate and whereas if i take for integers 5 with one allocation maybe the next value 6 with another allocation like this it will be so how this is the arrangement of memory allocation is of float is different compared with integer so that's why here when you want to print with the integer format specifier it will not print the only integer value actually what it prints so what it prints actually here is it is taking only the part which is after decimal and it is checking with what is this decimal part so if it is if i multiply with two after six number of iterations if the right side decimal value is zero then it is giving as zero otherwise it takes the garbage value you can observe let us suppose if i give here zero zero no zero zero anyway it is totally zero zero into two again zero so that's why the value is zero let us suppose if i take five point something like two five it ignores this one and two five two five into two this is point five one iteration and point five into two one so two iteration in two iterations you are getting right side is zero so that's why again even for 5.25 you are getting zero so even for uh, if you take uh, let us suppose if i take 5.2 only what is 0.2 into 2 0.4 0.4 into 2 0.8 into 2 1.6 again you have to take the only 0.6 what is 0.6 into 2 1.2 again you have to take only right 0.2 into 2 see never you are getting zero right side so if you take 5.2 you are getting garbage remember this point if you multiply like this in at most six number of iterations if you are getting zero then it is giving zero the value otherwise it is giving garbage value so like this it will execute it is a special case when you consider when you when you take a float value and when you want to print in percent ld format specifier this is a special case so now the answer will be zero only it's not five and for further clarity regarding how it will take uh, after the decimal point you can watch the, the explanation of question number 24 in my video lecture that is top 100 cmcqs the link you can find below so where how this value i told you know like six number of iterations it will go so you can watch that question number 24 coming to the question number 113 what is the output of this C program? So here it is given min value, max value. And of course, this is very simple average equals to addition. But you need to clearly check this one. Here it is given. It's not minimum underscore. It is minimum hyphen it is given. Yes, we have to check it out where hyphen is not accepted when you declare a variable. So that's why it will give a compile time error. So this sort of the variable declaration is not accepted in c so this also we need to check it out of course if i write underscore here then it is allowed but here it is given iphone here also so both are not accepted that's why here only you will get compile time error so the answer is d
Coming to the question number 114. A 10-bit unsigned integer has the following range. So 10-bit unsigned integer. So how many values you can store? How to calculate this one? So it's like this. Let us suppose uh, if I ask you what is for character, how many values it will take means. Uh, first of all, it stores, it takes how many bytes means one byte. So what are the values will be taken? Let us suppose how to calculate. First of all, one byte means how many bits you need to consider? Eight bits. So eight bits means each bit z either it takes zero or one. That is two values. Totally two power eight. Totally two fifty six values it can consider. The character data type can store totally two fifty six values. What are those two fifty six value? If it is a unsigned char. That means only positive values. That's why it takes from 0 to, of course, 256 minus 1, 255. Why? Because 0 also included. Totally 256 values. If it is a signed care or simply care, signed care or simply care, what it has to take? Of course, half of the values to be in the negative side. So that's why instead of 2 power 8, 8 minus 1, 7. So minus 2 power 7 to plus 2 power 7 minus 1. Here also you have done no? 256 minus 1 like this. so minus 128 to plus 127 like this you need to remember even for integer also integer 4 bytes so for integer 4 bytes means how many bits totally 2 power that is bits is 4 into 8 32 bits so total values it will take is 2 power 32 values so if it is unsigned it will take 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 if it is a signed integer or simply integer it takes half of the values to be negative that means minus 2 power 31 to plus 2 power 31 minus 1 so like this you need to consider and like this you need to calculate similarly here it's a 10 bit it's not 10 byte it is 10 bit so that's why each bit has two values that is 0 or 1 so 2 power 10 so 2 power 10 values it has to consider what are those 2 power 10? 2 power 10 means actually the value is 1024. Anyway, it is given it as unsigned it is. So unsigned means only positive values starts from 0. So 0 to how many values it will consider totally 1024. That means 0 to 1024 minus 1 that is 1023. So 0 to 1023 means totally 1024 values it will consider in the range. So which option is correct? Option D. Yeah, of course very easy one format identifier percent li is also used for which data type so there are format specifier we are using in C of course we know that uh, percent ld is used for integer and not only percent ld you can use percent li also percent li is also for integer remember this point our option is D of course percent lf for float and uh, percent LF for double for character percent LD for string percent LS and other than this we have percent LO also for octal percent X for hexadecimal this is small x for hexadecimal values and of course percent P for uh, pointer kind of variables percent U for unsigned unsigned integers of course like this all are defined of course percent ld for long integer so these are all defined in c so these are all format identifiers are format specifier we call it as so for for our question the answer is d we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you